Peshawar is no longer described by residents as a vibrant metropolis. They have watched it turn into a city under siege, held hostage by violence few can make sense of. Oh God, grant me respite from the troubles you have sent us, Shamshad Begum prays. She and her family of seven now live in a single room in this open-air courtyard. We had a really nice home, she says, but when the bomb went off, we lost it. Now we have nothing. She says it felt like doomsday. Her family lost everything, home and business, when a truck bomb exploded at a popular marketplace back in October. Peshawar's people have increasingly found themselves the helpless victims of the battle between the militants and the Pakistani authorities. And suddenly nothing was safe. The city turned into a gridlock of checkpoints and concertina wire. Shopping centers and businesses began to sandbag their windows and entrances. Even this cell phone shop installed a metal detector and posted armed guards. This was once Peshawar's busiest modern market. People would come here and leisurely spend their time walking around, shopping, talking, having fun. Now they only come if they have to, and they leave as quickly as possible. Now Rose Khan knows only too well that even the simplest of actions can have devastating consequences. I was having tea with my friend, he remembers, and there was an explosion. I could feel my leg dangling from my body. He drives a rickshaw to feed his family of seven, but since the attack, he makes less than half of what he used to. He says it's because he tires quickly and his body starts to hurt. His children constantly ask him about the bomb, trying to understand what happened to their father. Shamshad says the toughest thing is when her grandchildren get cold and there is little she can do to help them. Her daughter-in-law sobs as she tells us how she had to pull her kids out of school. With the loss of their business, the family can't afford the fees. All Shamshad feels she can do is pray that somehow this will all end. Arwa Damon, CNN, Peshawar, Pakistan.